So when I was str- scrolling Twitter, I saw PFF Baltimore Ravens tweeted um, that Ben Cleveland versus the Dolphins, 26 pass blocking snaps, zero sacks allowed, zero pressures allowed. And you guys know how I feel about Ben Cleveland and how I felt he should have gotten an opportunity to play left guard during the offseason, uh, during the preseason. But, again, saw this and I was like, okay, Ben Cleveland had a great game. And it's hard to kind of watch him doing the – TV version, so I had to get wait till I got to all 22 to see how he played. So I went back to go watch all of his snaps and to see how well did he play. Because when I saw this tweet, I also went to PFF and looked at his grade, and his grade was not what I expected it to be. So I, I went to the film to kind of dive in and see like the good and the bad, and this is what I came up with. Let's get into the film. Welcome back to Zip the Tally Films. <laughs> All right, let's get into this Ben Cleveland film. Now, again, it ain't all hunky dory. He had decent grades. He had some good and some bad. And let's kind of dig into you know the good and the bad of of Ben Cleveland plays. So I picked uh, some random players. Let's see how many we got. Two, four, six. Eight got nine plays. We're gonna look at the good and the bad technique, and, and then at the end, we'll what I think because I looked at all the plays. I'll talk about what I think he was good at, what I think he was bad at, and where he needs to improve. Basically, with this really being his only extensive game reps at a real O line position, he's been the extra O line in a lot of situations, but filling in for Zeitler is. A big step in, you know, towards PT. He played every snap, every offensive snap. Him and John Simpson was the only two uh, linemen to play every offensive snap. Because Mustafa came in at the end for Linda Bond. Simpson and and and, and Cleveland the only O linemen to play every snap. Now again, he got pass pro right here versus um, Christian Wilkins. Hands inside. Key step is all right, not great. But again, post foot down, other foot up. Post foot down, other foot up. Drop your butt. There you go. This little get that right there, that's what saves it. Get closer. Now you get if you get right here, you can hold. If you get in this position right here, you can hold. You can't hold from right there. Get right there, you can hold. I sink your hips. Not a bad rep. Did he give up ground? Yeah. But he kept the pocket intact. Look at the whole pocket. The whole pocket is intact. Christian Wilkins wasn't allowed to just collapse it up the middle. He wasn't allowed just to go around him. It's not a bad rep by being Cleveland. And it's not it's not a lot of reps where he get individual one-on-ones because he really was like the extra guy a lot of times. But he had, he had to either go help Moses or go help Linda Baum, or Linda Baum came and helped him. So it's not a lot of one-on-one reps with, with um, being Cleveland on this tape. But again, this, in this one particular instance, I think it was a good rep for him. And I think we ended up getting a uh, rail route to Justice Hill. I think this is the one they called uh, pass interference on likely on. Again, like I said, a lot of a lot of pass pro reps where he's not like the primary focus. But watch what he what he does while helping. Cause he don't have a real responsibility. Cause you see Wilkins on the edge with Moses, Lindenbaum's kind of fighting with Roquan Davis or Raycorn Davis, and Cleveland notices it and gonna help Lindenbaum out. Wham! Took that man to his knees. That's that brute strength. Yeah. Buckled him up. Allowed Justice Hill. No, that's Gus to escape from behind. And just gave Lamar extra time. That that little foul ah, right there. And then still checking to see what Wilkins is doing out there with Moses. That that stuff matter, man. That helps secure that whole right side. And again, still checking with Wilkins, see what's going on. Check back with Davis, see what's going on. And that that's give Lamar extra time. 
I think he complete this to flowers. This is not a bad rep either. This, I mean, he got one on one with with Davis. And and I'll tell you throughout this film, the reps when Davis won versus Lindenbaum is because of Davis's. I mean, not Lindenbaum versus um, Cleveland. The long arms Davis got, he was able to press Cleveland out and then just kind of throw him by. But we'll see some of the few reps where where Davis won here in a minute. But on this one, Lindenbaum does. I'm sorry, I keep saying Lindenbaum. Cleveland does a good job of correcting himself because he off balance right there. So he kind of stumbles. Like, no lineman wants <laughs> look both his feet in line. That should never happen with the old lineman. But look at him correct himself. Correct himself, drop his hips, drop them hips right there, and stop the stop the uh penetration. Pause. Bad. Corrective action. Good job. Gotta be able to correct yourself in the middle of the play. Because if you don't correct yourself from right there, he got a straight line to the quarterback. And then once he corrects his feet, drops his hips, stops the pressure, and gives him just enough room to be able to stand in there and throw it. Because you can stand in the pocket as long as you don't get complete collapse up the middle. And does he complete this? Yes. Touchdown to Justice Hill. Another rail route. All right, next. Again, like I said, it was it was not all great. Initial good contact with Wilkins. Initial good contact. Watch Wilkins just slide off of him, though. He got to keep his head. On this side, in this position. Got to keep his head on that side and on this position. To keep Wilkins from crossing his face. But he does it. Wilkins presses him. Slides. And even though it don't look like it. But look who makes gets in on the tackle. Wilkinson. McCleveland should have kept, kept him over here on this side of the field. He should have kept him over here. I say this, he, he played good, but it wasn't all great. Wasn't all great. I think this is outside zone. It is. Which is a great job of double teaming by him and Linda Ball. Great job. Great job. Head on the right side. Now, Linda Bum get there. Now. Double team him up, up to him. Just both of y'all just take that guy up to them, and neither one of you have to come off. That's just you just covering them up, as they say. That's the, the coaching term. Covering the linebacker up with the D tackle. That's the perfect way to double team somebody. Now, conventional wisdom is one of these guys will take this guy, and then the second guy will take the linebacker. But if you can take the D tackle to the linebacker, and both of y'all stay there, that's perfection. That's how you would like to do it. That way nobody has to disengage. And you see him working. You see him working. You see him working. Working right up to it now. Now, these two, Lindebaum and Cleveland, has taken care of that guy and this guy that you can barely see right there. So they got two for two. Two for two without having to disengage. That's a good job of Cleveland just not leaving. Because Lindebaum never really gets in his hip, kind of pushing him off. So his job was to stay there. And I like this play by Cleveland, too. Like, they're running the outside zone. So you really, like, with that guy being a gap behind, you really know that's not your guy. So you're going to work through this shoulder and climb up to the next thing that show up. 
That's what that's what should happen. With this guy being a gap behind, this is technically Linderbaum's guy. So you really got to hold him to Linderbaum get there. Then you go up to second level, which he does a great job of, even though there's nobody there really for him to get. And by the time somebody shows up, that guy is way more athletic than than Cleveland, and he he doesn't get a get a hand on him. But the initial part of the play I like. Let me get that off. See how he goes through that shoulder. And look at Linderbaum gets the depth. And so when Cleveland comes off, Linderbaum's in perfect position. Perfect position. Perfect position. Now, the question, what, what is in question to me is, should he have gotten, should he have gotten that guy? Or should Kolar have came and gotten that guy? That's, what, that's what's questioning me. And, and it might be Cleveland. It might be. It might be Cleveland should have came off and went there instead of turning back. But I'm assuming I'm assuming his head down, he don't even see him at this point. So when he comes up to second level, he's just looking for something to come backside. And the guy he should be blocking is probably right there. So even though the technique is good to start with, I think the assignment is wrong. I think the assignment is wrong because in my my knowledge, Linderbaum and Cleveland should be taking care of this guy and this guy. So the technique is good on the the, the one technique, but he should be coming off to get this backer right here, which is number 41 or 43, whatever that is. So I like that play and I don't like it, now that I completely analyze it. Like this part is good, but your eyes got to be over here to go get that guy. Y'all picking up the blitz when they tried to disguise it a little bit. Tried to disguise it a little bit, but led to the catch by OBJ. So really, you know, whatever the call is, it's probably five across, man, man on man. And you got Christian Wilkins right there, and it's hard to have this guy that you know is really good right in your face and not try to put hands on him. And Cleveland's patient enough to just let him go. So I'm sure they got a five across, man, man on man, 5-0, what, what some people call it, meaning the five up front versus my five up front. He takes the inside most guy, stops the blitz. 51 realizes it's futile because he can't get past him. Lamar steps up right behind the space created by Ben Cleveland because Ben Cleveland don't take no steps back. And Lamar steps up right in that space created by Ben Cleveland because Linda Bum give, give, give up something. Ben Cleveland don't take no steps back. Lamar steps up right in that space that's created by Ben Cleveland. Throws a dime to Odell. Odell made a play for him. This strength, man. I just put this on here just for just for pure brute strength. I think they're trying to run a stunt, maybe. Maybe they're trying to run a stunt, and Cleveland just takes him and, and shoves him into the shadow round. Wham! And has the wherewithal to, to let him go and come off on Wilkins. Just, just enough. Just slow Wilkins down just enough that he don't get in the passing lane of Lamar. But what, what he did to, to 45, he threw that man like a rag doll. Let's play it in real time. Yeah. That's ragdollish to me. Let's run one more. Now on this one. Again, another outside zone. And the, the guy, again, same situation. Is behind him. So technically, the, the last backer was here. Now the backer's over here. So I don't think this guy is Ben Cleveland now. I think this guy should be Morgan Moses and Pat Ricard. 
So now I think he actually should be turning back, trying to get to 51. Look at the steps. Look at all the steps. Everybody's steps are fine. I like it. I like it. I like it. I would love for him to throw that hand back to help Linderbaum. But he does he does see the guy coming at the last minute. And get something on him. And that getting something on him, that good turn back, is right where Gus fits at. Right where Gus fits at. Now I did have one more play. I don't know why it came through, but I'm gonna just try to talk you through it for a minute. If um see if we can. So let's just say, all right, for the sake of it, because I don't know what happened to my play. That this was Melvin Gordon. So Melvin Gordon's touchdown, they ran some kind of little divish type play. And it was Mono e Mono, Ben Cleveland, and I think Christian Wilkins. Uh Ben Cleveland goes up, kind of seals him off. Melvin Gordon stashes right there off Ben Cleveland, and then he's t he's not touched until he gets like the two yard line by the linebackers. But he hit the hole clean right off Ben Cleveland's butt. Like I said, I don't know why that play didn't pop up, but it, it did happen on Melvin Gordon's touchdown. So if you want to go back to you know the game, the real game play and see it, you see Ben Cleveland kind of stand. I think it's Christian Wilkins or or Davis up. Melvin Gordon hits right off of Ben Cleveland and is. Not touched until he gets to the second level and he powers his way in for a touchdown. But seeing what PFF Ravens put out there saying uh, Ben Cleveland had uh, 26 pass snaps and no pressures, that in, that piqued my interest on top of being a Ben Cleveland fan anyway. Just really wanting that man to get a chance. Like in preseason, y'all know I wanted. I felt like him and John Simpson should have competed for that left guard position. And when they, he didn't get an opportunity to even compete for that spot. I felt like it was competitive misjustice, so to speak. <laughs> and um but you know, this game right here I got a chance to see him play, which is what I wanted to see him do. And he didn't do good. I mean he didn't do bad. Wasn't great, but you know, you can see where he competed. Now where I think he was good at, on the down blocks. Uh that's another one I had a down block on here too. I don't I don't know what happened to it. Uh, maybe my program messed up. He had a down block on here versus Raekwon Davis where he just stood him up. He got up under his pass and just completely stood him up. So the down blocks he was great at. Um, he was okay on the outside zone stuff, but where he was just completely not good at is in our screen game. Like when we ran screens and he had to get out in space and block, I don't think he got one good block on somebody in the screen game. Like we got yards on screens in spite of him, not because of him. So the sc him in space or doing screens were, were not good at all. But as far as him down blocking for stuff like that, he was good. He was okay in the outside zone stuff. So he was, you know, just had an overall good game, but he do have some holes in his game. I think he would benefit from some kind of flexibility training in the offseason because he obviously has the Bruce strength. Uh, he has decent feet. Uh, he just got to be able to kind of contort and move that body in certain ways that offensive linemen need to do in that box. And uh, everybody can't be as nimble as Linderbaum, but need to be a little bit better. Nim nimbality, I just made that word up, than you are Ben Cleveland. But, hey, I just wanted to take a look at a few plays from Ben Cleveland. And, again, I don't know why those couple extra plays didn't load on my program, but you guys get the gist of it. I appreciate you for coming through. If you have not liked the video, please do so. If you have not sub subscribed, please do so and hit that bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop throughout the 2024 year, but the 2023 season. This is Coach Evans with another film session. Remember the motto, FTMF, because the film don't lie, unlike some people. And we out. Peace.